To my beloved brethren and God's holy people across the globe, welcome to another program in the series, A Word to the Nation broadcast. I am Pastor Carol Wilson, your humble servant, and I encourage you to spare a few minutes out of your busy schedule and allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. Greetings to all my friends and brethren this morning. I want to take the opportunity on behalf of my family and I to express our gratitude to all of you for your outpouring of love, care, and support last weekend during the reflection service on Sabbath and the viewing and interment on Sunday of my late wife, Sister Barbara Wilson. We are aware of the fact that we live in a new normal because of the pandemic and so the support we received was overwhelming under the circumstances. I am aware that some persons were not able to join in for one reason or another. Not to worry. Both sessions, Sabbath and Sunday, will be posted on social media soon and you will be notified so you will be able to access the content at your own convenience. This morning I would like to speak to you on the topic Walk Circumspectly. This title comes from the New King James Version of our scripture reading in Ephesians 5, 15 to 18, which says, See then, that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunken with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. This morning, I would like to take a few minutes to share with you concerning this passage of Scripture. The word circumspectly means exactly, diligently, or perfect. The word walking, I believe, is making reference to our lifestyle or moral conduct, the relationship, and behavior towards others. What do you think this passage means? How do we live our lives carefully or diligently, which seem to be the climax of Paul's admonition in this chapter? As a matter of fact, between verse 1 and 15, Paul makes three suggestions as to how we should walk as children of God. In verse 1 to 7, he admonishes the believers to walk in love. Verse 2 of Ephesians 5, reading from the Christian Standard Bible, says, And walk in love, as Christ also loved us and gave himself for us, a sacrifice and fragrance offering to God. Here the first segment of the chapter admonishing us to exercise our moral conduct in love. It even suggests that we should use Christ as our role model. We need to walk in love in the same way as Christ also loved us and gave himself as a sacrifice on our behalf, a fragrant offering to God. We should never forget that selflessness and sacrifice are an integral part of the process of walking in love. In the same way that children naturally become imitators of their parents, so Paul encourages the believers to become imitators of God walking in love as their children. The second suggestion Paul makes in verse 8 to 14 
is that we should walk in light. Verse 8 of Ephesians 5, reading from the Christian Standard Bible, says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Paul rightly says, We who are followers of Christ were once darkness, but not anymore. Now we are light in the Lord. Many of us take comfort in being called light, but the apostle says being called light is not enough. We have a responsibility, an obligation to walk as children of light. Our conduct, our example, our life should not be about self-gratification. Our focus should not be about pleasing ourselves, but instead it should be about walking in love. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and if we are his followers, we ought to reflect his light in the same way that the moon reflects the light of the sun. But the truth is, you cannot reflect light unless you yourself are in the light. It is therefore very important that we walk in the light. The third and final point of Paul's trial suggestion for the Christian walk is in verses 15 to 17. Walk circumspectly. Verse 15 from the King James Version says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. This seemed to be the culmination of his admonition on the Christian walk. Paul says, My fellow believers, not only should you walk in love and walk in light, but while you're at it, complete the task by walking circumspectly. Be fully conscious of what you are about. Be true to your God. Be true to yourself. Hiding behind pretense and trying to impress everyone around you will not result in any benefit except that ultimately you will be called to face the consequences of your deception and the only one who would have been deceived is yourself so pay careful attention to how you live not as foolish but as wise people how so by making the best use of your time don't waste opportunities by continuing to do what you have always done yet expecting a different result the only way to make right choices is to understand what the will of the Lord is most of us will depend on the meteorologist or weatherman for expert advice as it relates to the weather but we depend on the opinion of friends and family instead of turning to our Heavenly Father for His godly counsel in making important decisions in our lives. Only God can give wise counsels to guarantee success during this evil day. Therefore, walk in love, walk in light, walk circumspectly, be true to your God. He is searching for true worshipers. Be true to yourself. The only person who will ultimately be deceived and suffer the consequences of your deception is yourself. In closing, remember verse 18. And do not be drunken with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. Do not allow yourself to be overtaken by wine, so much so that you are under its control. Instead, be filled with the Spirit of God, 
so that your entire life will be under his control. Therefore, walk in love, walk in light, walk circumspectly. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B038. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Bye.